There's no single agreed upon framework or vocabulary of visual research methods. This episode surveys five ways that expert visual methodologists have attempted to conceptualize, organize, name, and characterize visual research methods. John Wenger presents one of the first typologies of the ways photographs can play a role in social inquiry. Namely, they can serve as interview stimuli, also known as photographic elicitation. They can facilitate systematic recording of social phenomena. Naive or existing photographs can be treated with content analysis. In native image making, one can teach a population to take photographs and then study their outputs. In narrative visual theory, the researchers create photographs to illustrate social theories. Douglas Harpercast's visual sociology is consisting of two domains. The semiotics of visual communication, which is analyzing photographs others have taken. A second domain, visual methods, entails taking photographs during the research process and has modes, scientific, narrative, reflexive, or phenomenological. John Grady casts visual sociology as the study of three things. Seeing, that is, how sight and vision contribute to social organization and meaning. Iconic communication, which is how images communicate information and manage relationships in society. And doing sociology visually, which includes visualizing, researching, producing, teaching, interpreting, and explicating images. Sandra Weber offers an alternative perspective from the arts and delineates five ways images can be used during research. Artistic images can be produced as data. Pre-existing or found artistic images can serve as springboards for theorizing. Images can elicit or provoke other data. Images can document the research process. And in the final stages of research, images can help with interpretation or representation. Luke Powell's Integrated Framework for Visual Social Research operates temporarily and follows the trajectory of a visual research project from inception to completion. There are three themes, the origin and nature of visuals, the research focus and design, and the format and purpose of the end product. Concerning the origin and nature of visuals, it distinguishes pre-existing visual artifacts from researcher-instigated visuals and recognizes visual mediums as being non-algorithmic or algorithmic Pobble's framework is especially comprehensive. Not one of these frameworks was ideal to structure this video series, and everything that follows borrows from all of them. These frameworks show how visual research methods exist within multiple complicated conceptual and methodological landscapes.